What's up? I'm Alex the Entrepreneur and in this video I have very exciting news regarding the role-based access control. Actually, I found a development preview by pulling one of the latest feature branches called features slash RBAC and I'm going to be showing you this developer preview. Please note that things will drastically change from what I'm showing you, but uh, I feel like this is something that you can get really excited, so I want to share it with you. So first of all, whenever you'll start your new administrative panel, you'll see that there's a huge change. First of all, you can no longer edit your administrator by clicking on your username. Then you'll go to roles and permission and you'll see that nothing has changed. And that's because roles and permission at this point, so the plugin called roles and permission is actually used just to handle normal users. So anything that has to do with interacting with the API, this is where you're gonna be working with it. However, if you click on settings in the bottom left of your administrative panels, you'll be, uh, you reach a page that contains two new links. One link is called roles and another one is called users. If you click on roles, you're gonna see three roles. One role being called super admin, another one editor, and the third one being an author. On the other end, if you click on users, you're gonna access your user administration panel. This is where you're gonna be able to add new users add uh, different roles to new users and you're going to be able to customize them. So your first user, whenever you launch Strapi, will always be a super administrator and then any other user you create may have a different role that you're going to be able to associate whenever you actually create it. And on user creation, you're also going to see this URL uh, at the top of your panel that basically allows you to send that uh, uh, URL uh, to register a new user. This is very convenient, especially if you're doing testing locally. So I find that very nice. I also assume that uh, uh, the administration panel will also send an email to the user that you create. I wanna make a disclaimer, and later in the video, I'll actually do a, a real tour of the panel, by the way. But uh, something I wanna say is that, as of my understanding, all of these roles are currently hard-coded. So if I look at, by looking at the source code, specifically at the strapi-admin package, I found the roles and all of these properties, and basically these are R-coded. So this is just a way to test the functionality when it comes to accessing features, rather than actually allowing you to edit them. So what you'll find if this development preview becomes a feature release, you'll find that uh, you're, you can't customize your roles. At this point, you can just assign them to specific users, which I think is still a great improvement. But again, this is more of a taste of what things are going to come in the future. This basically explains why every checkbox that you try and click is inactive. Basically, role-based seems to be an extremely granular process, and that's how, at least I believe, the Strapi team is thinking about it. And you can see that I have a collection type up here, uh, and it's basically the address being a collection type, and I can edit, for each role, I can edit our basic CRUD operations, create, read, update, delete, but additionally, for each field inside of the collection type, I can actually customize whether they even get to read it, which means seeing it, or whether they get to create it and update it. And that's very exciting because that means that you're gonna be able to customize roles that may not have access to very sensitive data, but they still may have to deal with users. The biggest example that comes to mind would be customer supports, not having access to personally identifiable uh, data, but still being able to, for example, reset a password or send an email or maybe send a message. Again, you can increase the level of collaboration on the slash admin panel. The main differences between roles at this point, again, these hard coded roles, are that the super admin is basically our previous administrator. It can do anything. It sees all of the plugins, it sees all of the collection types, it can do anything. The editor does not see any of the plugins, so basically it can't customize roles and permission for users, it can add new users, but what it can do is it can create all collection types and all single types. Also is able to edit collection types that he didn't create. The author, and this is where actually initially brought me to think that these were hard-coded because I couldn't find any difference in the admin panel. The author instead cannot see articles that are created by other users. So any other administrator that creates an article, the author will actually be not be able to see those so that he is also not able to edit them. That's uh, actually very convenient if you plan on having somebody write content for you, but you don't want them to be an editor. You don't want them to audit content for somebody else. So it actually makes sense. And clearly, if uh, there was a, a granular feature to control a specific field, 
uh, on an author, you will probably set every post to be a draft so that you uh, they wouldn't be able to publish a post and you will give that privilege only to an editor. At this point, with the way Strapi works, you can still create an article. So technically the author can publish them, but however, they can't uh, tamper with articles written by somebody else, which is pretty good. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the admin panel actually works. First thing I did is I simply copied the entire Strapi workspace and I pulled, rather I fetched the latest branch. So if I do git branch, you can see that I'm actually on features RBAC. And then I'm gonna use this command called yarn workspace get started develop to run a quick start application that is inside of the Strapi branch that will actually pull from the latest Strapi packages, uh, making it so that I can actually use the latest features. So. That's how I'm able to preview this development preview. If you were to try and deploy this to a live server, you probably would have issues because you can't rely on those packages. Although technically, if you were to deploy the entire monorepo, you would have access to the, the packages. So the first thing I see is that the, the, uh, the create your account has changed. Now we actually have first name and last name before we only used to have username. So at this point, I'll just call myself X. I'll have my uh, very weak password. Actually, at this point, you have to have a fairly secure password with an uppercase letter, otherwise it's not gonna go through. And as I showed you, there is no uh, way to manage the administrator up here. I can go on profile and I can customize my own profile. And anytime I make a change, I also need to have the confirmation password, at least from my experience. Next up, again, the roles and permissions, you can see that they are uh, basically the same as always. Same goes for the advanced settings. Uh, that's because roles and permission on this plugin link basically only has to do with users that use Strapi to authenticate. It doesn't have to do with administrator. It has to do with your normal users, the, the collection type users that you can see here. However, if you wanna work with your roles, you can go on settings and scroll down here and you can click on roles where uh, at this point you can't uh, actually edit your roles. You can just change the description because everything else is uh, blocked. So the, as you can see, like we can't really change them because they're hard coded, uh, but this is still uh, fairly good. And if you try and click on uh, uh, adding or deleting, you're gonna see a message that tells you that you reached your limit. That's because on the uh, shareware version of Strapi, uh, we're gonna only have three roles, which basically means two roles because the super admin is, you know, you're gonna have one super admin and then two other roles. And uh, uh, when it comes to users, you can just add a new user by clicking on the uh, top right and then you can add a uh, first name, such as John and Doe, and then you can have uh, your email and you can assign a role. Now, the nice thing that I already mentioned is that if I go as an editor for John Doe, uh, I can uh, uh, copy this and then go on an incognito window and I can log in as John Doe and it's gonna uh, get me through the process of setting up a password, just setting up my account basically. And uh, something that you'll notice is that I no longer see my plugins. Like I can't do any uh, quote unquote dangerous operations here. I can still kind of nosedive the website if I have access to JSON fields, which uh, you, you still may. So you can still uh, create a little bit of a havoc unless you sanitize your data, uh, your data in Strapi. However, you can see that this user can only create stuff. So it's, it's very good. And if I were to create a restaurant, for example, I guess I need to have stars. I'm just gonna put one star. And apparently I also need this. So we have an amazing description. And at this point you can see that I've created a restaurant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close my incognito window and I'm gonna create a new user that instead is gonna be a, a, a author and I'm gonna call it the author. Author. And I'll just put author at strapi.io. And what we can see is that if I uh, register this user and I go into restaurants, I actually want to be able to see the restaurants that were created by somebody else. That means that I cannot tamper with their data. However, if I do create a new restaurant, and at this point the second restaurant, and I guess I'll put uh, two stars, and the description being as long as it needs. So now, again, this user can only see that. However, a super admin or even the editor would actually be able to see both of them. And uh, as uh, the super admin, I can still customize and do whatever I want with it. So this is fairly, fairly good, especially if you're onboarding a new collaborator and you don't wanna give them too many superpowers. 
So at this point, I feel like the, the Strap Admin panel can actually be shared. Uh, there's still gonna be some precaution, especially when it comes with uh, dealing with the JSON fields. If you have the JSON fields, you're probably gonna be forced to do very heavy levels of sanitization when it comes to your front end to avoid uh, either injections or having uh, vulnerabilities. But beside that, I think at this point, you can actually start having collaborators working on your administrative panel. Uh, again, this is just a developer preview. Things may change completely. I'm not sure what the ATA for releasing this feature is. What I thought was interesting was that I saw a pull request on this feature. So I'm assuming the Strapi team will actually merge this into, into the master branch and it will make a release out of it. Because again, I saw the pull request. With that said, I'm Alex the Entrepreneur. Thank you very much for watching and have an amazing day.